Hey guys, Thomas the Silly Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, and welcome back to some more Resident Evil 3. You are now playing as Carlos, so I'm assuming no more worrying about uh, Mr. Nemesis. Alright, we got some new lock shit. ID security call security protocols. September 16, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this ID, same ID card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. So we can use this, then, right? Haha! <laughs> e. Alrighty. Oh boy. Oh, that's how that body ended up there, huh? Oh. They actually took care to explain those bodies. Wow. Okay. Stick around. Uh, here we go. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Nice. To -to 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 -to. Oops. Welcome. Can't expect it any other way. Fuck. 
still fine somehow. Okay. Open. There we go. I'll help. Arrest report. Name Rodney Gray. Occupation unemployed foreman electrician. Charges unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched producing a small explosive and a timed detonator from inside pocket leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspects' home found uh, more than 20 additional homemade explosives in various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly with the one questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta be, gotta get bumps. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently. For resuming and shrieking, a shrieking fit, Christing was ended and a sedative administered. Note: Due to the suspect's unstable physical uh, psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Uh, suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of the doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. Explosives collected from person suspects person in in resident the residence appears to be extremely powerful as a safety precaution a battery was removed from the detonation device upon its admitish, admission into evidence the battery was secured into the safety deposit room interrogation officer way west joker It's locked. They're kind of fucked up shooting cops. Nine fifteen seven Inferno Memo, September 22, 1998. Office Supply Inferno Memo, Relocation Notice. Heat Resistance 3 Number Combination Safe Move to SARS Office 2F to West Office 1F. Combos left 9, right 15, 7. Please change the combos into the receipt. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. Thank <laughs> you. 
cameras kill those things, I'd be sick. Ha! <laughs> Is that a reference? To, um, what's that game called? Dawn with the ghost and the, um, you point the camera at them. I actually don't remember what it's called. <laughs> Shit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. A. Oh, the question is, how did that get locked again? Mysterious mysteries. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Do 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 do. Oop. Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you are on patrol, I focus on finding a way to get on to the other side. I realize that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to break up a pretty good bomb, but we... Don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need the bat bat battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I looked to the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could. I could feel it get worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the, the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about the $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Damn. Better not. <laughs> Okay, guess we'll be doing this the exploding way. Uh, hmm. Did I miss anything? Might be up here then. It's not down here. Oh. 
another one. Uh, not sure. I forgot what this one was. Oh no, is it the same? I highly doubt it. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. DCM. You devil cray may. One oh six and one oh four, one oh nine. Oh, um, oops. In the mall, why don't I? I know. Hit it. Okay. 
That was a good one. Always more bullets. Good, good. Carlos, I need a dead end at the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Here we go. Take a number. Oh, my God. Chibis. Bart. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Hmm. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's my highest call. And I'm going to check the computer to see if I can trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Look around and see if you can find anything useful. Okay. Oh, it's so useful after the fact, Brad. <laughs>
and part of the man mansion incident. The bizarre incident occurred in the mansion owned by Umbrella Corporation located in the Arc Clay Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to Arc Clay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five stars member members of stars. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root and cause of all that occurred. However, all the evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Is that Jill in the front row? He sure is. Yo, what's up? Keep rail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Uh-oh. Jill, come in! See, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Ruh row Some time earlier. I'm still alive. Am I the only one who made it? BCS new weaponry notice. Good news, Limp Dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called the Mine Rounds. These babies were developed in Umbrella's military RD, and they will light your fires even hotter than the hot than the lever, lever you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed to steer in for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or, or on the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. A sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically just toss them in, any, in, in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as an unfair when as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks, so get on there and fight dirty. Interesting. We'll pick up our mine rounds.
There we go. Load up. Alrighty. What a perfect place to call it. Alright, we will continue our gel adventures next time. If you ended up enjoying this part, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. I want to head over to my Discord server, the link to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.